Cameron Grimes versus Braun Breaker. A very fun match. It was a good match, but uh, man, I had high expectations, and this did not achieve. It was not a great them. match, but uh, it was a good match. this was the opposite of that that match we saw on. on uh, actually, I guess maybe it wasn't. If they wrestled a thousand times, I would say probably fifty percent would be better. So not all one thousand. It's definitely not all one thousand. Yeah, I, I believe if they if they were given twenty minutes, I was told actually earlier in the day that. Of all the title matches, they were getting the least amount of time, uh. and I could not figure out why the fuck you'd do that. But that's what happened, mm. and uh, it was it was good. It had some very good spots there at the end, but man, Cameron Grimes is so unbelievable, and Braun Breaker is is really good for his his experience level. I thought they'd tear it up, and instead, it was just like a a very good TV main event. His- but part of it, I think, was they they are trying to get Braun Breaker to like just call more matches and get ready for the main roster, do stuff in the ring. Yeah, because there was a lot of spot calling. It looked like. Okay. And uh, I think they were trying to do that style of match as opposed to the usual choreograph a match, et cetera, et cetera. They're trying to get Braun ready. Yeah. So uh, that's kind of what this was. He did a good job in this style of match with Cameron Grimes, but I think they could have had a much better match. So Grimes hits the cave in, gets a two count, does the shocked kick out face. I should point out before this, uh, Braun is shelling his sh- shoulder, and he did a corner charge, but threw on the brakes before going into the corner. But then Cameron grabbed him and threw him shoulder first in the corner, went for an octopus first, and then hit the cave in for a two count in the shocked kick out face. Doesn't know what to do. He goes up top, and whatever he was going to try didn't work because he jumps off, and Braun spears him out of mid- midair and pins him. In fact, never did do the press slam. So it was a very good championship match. And afterward, next week arrived early because J.D. McDonough attacks Braun, suplexes him through a table. So there you go. J.D. McDonough is next on deck. J.D. McDonough looks so small. He is. Going in there against this giant Braun breaker. Like, they're going to have to do some stuff to convince anybody that J.D. McDonough is going to beat this guy. Because I I didn't see it. I did not see it. But overall, I thought this was a good show. Yeah, uh, people asking if they if it won this week. I I would not say that this was better than Dynamite, but I would no. happily give them a tie. Hmm. I really like those two fights in the second hour of Dynamite. This they were great. This NXT would have been better than some Dynamite, so it would it, would, it would, did not get the win this week. But it was one of the best one one of the two or three best episodes they've done since the 2.0 came over. So I'm not going to complain. Rusty, Rusty Rose, ten four eighty six. <laughs> Dusty. Is it Rusty or Dusty? <laughs> it's uh, it's Dusty. Harmon Blanchett. <laughs> okay, out of ring. Her- and- Herman and Blanchett. <laughs> Harwin. <laughs> Way back then, they had cha- chain barricades. <laughs> and then they had a tag team with Rich Fl- uh, Ric Flair and some more guys. And... <laughs> So that was that. I'm just too... <laughs> who, who did Rusty Rhodes wrestle? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.